Peter, what are you doing here? I'm here to get you out of this asylum. But you put me here, and with good reason. I can't... I know, it's crazy. But time's running out, Connors. Something bad has happened. Something really bad. Hey there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me, Pete. You're brave. We're gonna have to be careful here. I'm not supposed to be here after hours. I hope it's better than the first time I snuck in. That was not fun. We're not sneaking. We're investigating. Weird things happen here after hours. Stuff that Dr. Smythe's trying to get rid of. He's not a bad guy, you know? He wants to turn this company around. Sure, yeah, that's what the video said. So, what exactly is rotten in the state of Oscorp? I think they're continuing Dr. Connor's work. Cross-species experiments. Come on. Whoa, whoa now. Like, making more lizards? Making more everything. I I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out tonight. Oscorp has the geniuses and the resources. Why can't it be a benefit to people? That's why I came back. And Dr. Smythe wants to change things. <laughs> I know. His brilliant research will usher in a new era for all humanity. Huh. Okay, just wait a second. Well, we're definitely safe out here, because we'll never get in. We're in. Huh. Keep your head down. Look at all this. I knew Dr. Smythe was the nanobot guy, but I had no idea he had big bots, too. I can't believe you get to play with this stuff every day. <laughs> it never gets old. Whoa, what is that? Oh my god. This could be proof they're continuing Connor's work. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. They're with me. What are you doing here, Gwen? You know you're not supposed to be here after hours. Especially with a guest. Uh, Dr. Smythe, I am so, so sorry. Uh, this is my friend, Peter Parker. Peter Parker? I've heard about you. I'm hearing a lot about you tonight. So, why are you oh, here? I'm totally to blame, Doc. I, uh, I'm amazed at what you've done with Oscorp. I, when I heard about the changes you were making, you know, uh, nanobots? I wanted to see them for myself. You worked with Connors, right? Funny finding you here now as I waste my time trying to dispose of these cross-species. So this is a cross-species? You promised me that all of Connors' work was over. How many more do we keep here? I told you the truth, Gwen. The experiments have stopped, just not as early as I'd hoped. No more humans turning into animals like Connors did. But what you see here is what happens when an animal gets a nice dose of human DNA. Here, follow me. I trust you'll keep everything you see in the strictest confidence. Huh. Another one of these cross-species? This is crazy. The lizard almost destroyed the city. Well, what rational mind would continue to create these things? Changing the ethics of a large corporation takes time. Now, some scientists argue that these pathetic creatures have some benefit. But they lost that argument. As of tonight, these cross-species disappear. We're shipping them to our biolab for safe disposal. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, has this thing eaten today? It always looks like that. 
They went farther with Connor's work than we realized. The species in this room are incredibly dangerous and highly contagious. Hence the containment units. Hey, where'd he go? Come on out, little fella. That little fella is a walking disease. Any direct contact with it leads to infection. Infection leads to death. Or becoming a cross-species yourself. I want to keep you human, Parker. Let's keep moving. Is there a cure? Well, for these things, no. They were never human to begin with. They were born in a petri dish. For the poor humans it infects, unfortunately not. Attempts to develop an antidote have been unsuccessful. I don't want to seem cruel, but you have to understand, that thing is pure vermin. Creatures like this brought Europe to its knees with the plague. It only reacts like that when it's around other... I mean... <clears throat> other handsome guys like me? I'm used to it. Unlike robots, biological creatures are... unpredictable. I much prefer things I can control. Unpredictable, huh? What is that? An iguana? This has to be the strangest office tour I've ever been on. Don't worry, Parker. Our next stop is the nanobot lab. What you see is... Hey, excuse me, Dr. Smythe. I need someone with special clearance to help me take this down to B-Sector. No, I don't have time for this. Hey, Gwen, maybe it's a good thing you're here. You can deal with some of this bureaucratic nonsense. A punishment for uh, trespassing. Go with him and catch up with us when you're done. Uh, Doctor, I think I'll escort her. You know, make sure she doesn't get eaten. <laughs> I understand. The beast is as enthralled by beauty as man is. Meet me in the lab when you're done. And don't wander... It's an order, Miss Stacy? Sure, Dr. Smythe. Come on, Pete. I'm great meeting you, Doctor. Likewise, partner. It, is that... You gotta be kidding me. That's taking things a little far, isn't it? It's a terrible legacy. But Dr. Smythe says we're putting it in the past. I believe him. What the what? What did you do to it? I... I didn't do anything. Peter, I think it senses your blood. It knows. It's clearly reacting to something. I can help. Okay? Uh, I'll be fine, thanks. Get me to the quarantine area. I can help you save the other scientists from there. Oh, what if these things get out of Oscorp? I don't want to think about what ifs right now. Gwen, I'm sorry about all of this. I'll get you out of here as soon as I can. Don't worry about me, Pete. Just get me to the Robots quarantine like and go back to the others. For lunch. I'm fine. I wish I could say the same for my friends. to defend us against cross species which i guess you technically are so yeah watch out pete hey boys how about you try thinking for yourselves on this one i'm not so bad when you get to know me 
another way. Whoa. What's with the laser light show? Great. Oscorp security system. Quarantine's on the other side. Stay here, Gwen. I'll come back to get you. 